Records, Jeff Fraser and crew, lot number 54, with Red Fraser Queen 905G. Lot number 54. No problem. No Lot number 54 from Fraser's out in Manitoba. Sired by Fraser Poker Face 613D, a Vision Unanimous 1418 son, and from the Queen Cow family. Been in the Fraser family and operation for many years. Lot number 55 comes into the ring next to parade for you from Rack Red Angus. This is an exciting daughter of Red Peak Dot Eliminator 596C, Lot 55 Red Rack Lancer 5G. The Red Fraser Queen Lot 54 Heifer is weighing 835 pounds. The Red Rack Heifer Lot 55 is weighing 780 pounds, born January 21st of this year. So ladies and gentlemen, this represents the first bed of our heifer calves. This is half of our total heifer calves. We're gonna have them do one more lap around so you can see them on the move. These are all of our heifer calves cataloged right through to lot number 55. So it's roughly half of our heifer calves. The first few that you see cataloged alongside their dams. And then once we get to lot 32, those are the individually cataloged heifer calves. We'll let you have one more look at them so you can decide if this is the heifer you want to bid on for the Calcutta. That will move us right into the Junior Heifer Calf Extravaganza and the over $40,000 in credits that will be provided before the end of tonight. Now this is no prize money that you get to take home with you. Better, you get to take home a prize purchase from Red Roundup. This very cool junior heifer calf extravaganza features the opportunity to purchase a heifer for a junior, and we will sell until we either run out of heifers or run out of juniors. Then they'll have the opportunity to come through the ring for our judge, Riley Mater of Carstairs, Alberta, one of the nation's most progressive and exciting young cattle folk. I think at the age of 32, I can still call him young. And that will determine where that $40,000 plus gets allocated in sale credits for tomorrow. I don't know another sale in the world that has the focus on junior opportunity and the future of our juniors like Canadian Red Roundup and I really applaud the Canadian Red Angus Promotion Society for this junior focus that they have and are continuing to make particularly through the very exciting futurity that will be taking place immediately following the sale tomorrow. That futurity is being the talk of all breeds and actually even our greater industry as a whole. People have been asking, what exactly is going on with that $100,000 futurity? Well, folks, it starts tomorrow. It'll take place immediately after the 2019 sale with the heifer calves purchased in that sale. They will be evaluated and they will begin the tabulation of their cumulative points now those animals will be able to be coming back next year and the year after in 2021 and finally in 2022 wrap up where we have calves, bred heifers, two and three year olds. Two hour heifer calves that are just leaving the ring for our junior heifer calf extravaganza please know that as soon as we get through the second bed of heifer calves you all need to come back into the ring so please be prepared for that and we are ready now with lot number 56 of our heifer calves I think Colonel Carey would call it a fresh pen well, it's from a veteran Red Angus operation, but certainly known for bringing the great ones. Lot number 56 from the Morash family. This 775-pound heifer calf born February 12, 2019. Red Lazy MC Karuba 112G. Sired by Lazy MC Steel Town 102E. This is the first heifer calf of our second bed of heifer calves. And she's 775 pounds born February 12, 2019. 
the Karuba cow family in the case of this heifer came to Clinton family from the Crowfoot dispersal and anytime you have the opportunity to see that Crowfoot prefix and know that Dallas Jensen was involved you know that the maternal qualities are bred in Shiloh Cattle Company comes to us with our next heifer calf lot number 57 red Shiloh gracious 24 G sired by red Coburn assassin 624 D the Shiloh boys from out Hanaway have been rocking our Canadian Red Angus show world in the last few years. I think every year in recent memory they've had one of the Canadian Angus show animals of the year quite often with heifer calves. Well, this is your opportunity to perhaps take a purchase of one of those that could be in contention for this year. From our Shiloh boys, lot 57, weighing 770 pounds and born January 16th. Steen Angus comes up next with our January 2018th born lot 58 red CL Steen Bayberry 21G weighing 720 pounds Bayberry one of the great female producing cow families in Red Angus history this heifer is lot number 58 red CL Steen Bayberry 21 gene from Steen Angus in the ring now is Lauron Red Angus Lot number 59, Red Loron Dalmastu, 118G. Relatively new father, Jared Hunter, and now a veteran married man of, in this family of boys that is helmed by Lori, one of the volunteer and cattlewoman extraordinaire of our business. Lot number 59, Red Loron Dalmastu, 118G, 720 pounds. Next up. Goad family Angus with a couple of heifers coming to us from the Goads. Cole sitting on the craps board of directors. Thanks for that volunteerism as they bring us first lot 60, Red Goad Maria, 113.19, 820 pound heifer calf born January 30th. And lot 61, Red Goad Gamma, 237.19, born January 19th, the 790 pound heifer calf. So a 30 pound difference in our two Goad family Angus heifers. We have a couple of scratches from our sale. You can please scratch entries 62 and 63, bringing us to Dursta Farms Limited again with their second heifer calf, the first one you saw in the first group on uh, sale cow. Well, this is lot 64, red DSM Shady Lady 904. January heifer calf, weighing 780 pounds. And she's followed by red Dwayjo CR Last 20G. Lot 65 from Dwayne Joangus, Dwayne and Joanne and Jesse Emery. Also have a great donation in our Craps fundraiser tonight, allowing you the opportunity to access their entire semen bank to take some semen home out of their outstanding Dwayne Joangus program. This heifer's born January 13th and weighing 760 pounds. Lot 66 is a scratch from the sale, unfortunately, but Corona Creek Cattle Company is here with Lot 67. Red Corona Creek Countess 7G, an 850-pound heifer, born January 4th, 2019. Next is Lot 68 from J. Lazy A Ranch. This 770-pound heifer is Red J. Lazy A Sammy 97G, Born January the 18th. Jay Lazy A Ranch running a pretty, cutting a big swath up there in the Peace region. Raising some great red genetics and black as well with recent acquisitions. Lot 69 is our next from JAS Red Angus. Jazz Red Angus, Red Jazz Platinum Design 5G. This is a 740 pound heifer born January, eight, born January 18th. And again, sired by that exciting Coburn Assassin 624D bull. Lot number 70 comes to us next. Born March the 2nd, another March heifer, weighing 770 pounds from our intrepid craps president, Mark Matika of Matika Farms, who's got the day off of his day job outside of farming of being a politician folks don't hate him appreciate him we think he's one of the good ones this is lot 70 red mfc 201 rosebud 103g 
We can only hope on Monday the nation elects people with the integrity, if not the humor, that Mark Matika gives us as the lead on Matika Farms. Lot 71 is next from Randy McGowan, one of our great young Red Angus breeders, an 805-pound heifer calf born February 12th. This is Lot 71, Red McGowan Larkaba, 49G. From Randy McGowan and McGowan Farms of Killam. Lot 72 comes next from Redline Livestock. This is Redline Lana, ADG, a 670-pound March 8th heifer calf. From the Red Allison Mama 78E bull, one of the first bulls that Allison's produced when they made the venture into Red Angus. And what an adventure that's been for Allison's. Red Lot 73 is next into the ring, a 810-pound February 2nd-born heifer calf, Red ACC Samaria GG, 152G from Anderson Cattle Company once again. Their second heifer calf, the first one showed earlier on the cow, this is Lot 73. Lot 74 comes next from Southview Ranch. A great operation in southern Saskatchewan. Lot 74 is weighing 775 pounds and is red SVR Lana 6G, one of those signature cow families for the Kaufman crew, as is Coco, lot number 75, also from the Kaufmans of Southview Ranch, red SVR Coco 48G, weighing 630 pounds and born March 23rd. Definitely the youngest heifer calf in this heifer calf consignment at 2019's Red Roundup. Lot 74 and 75 from the Kaufmans of Southview Ranch. Rafter SJ has our next two heifers. The first weighing 790 pounds, lot 76. Red Rafter SJ, Ms. Merlot, 38G. Born February the 10th. And our next heifer weighing 700 pounds. Red Rafter SJ, Ms. Crowfoot, 43G. Again, that good Crowfoot breeding. The Jensen genetics all these years later still having a significant impact on our Canadian Angus scene. Lot 76 and 77 from Rafter SJ Ranch. Yarrow Creek has the next couple of heifers, lot 78 and 79. First off, the 820 pound high performance red YCR Priscilla 1905G. Lot 78 from Yarrow Creek Ranch. Again, one of those good Allison bulls is a sire. And a brown bull from that outstanding brown operation that really kind of leads the globe in Red Angus genetic creation. Lot 79 Red YCR Annie 1922G, again from Arrow Creek Ranch. This an 820 pound heifer as well. Seems like the Arrow crew fred, fed them together and fed them consistently. Triple H Cattle Company has our next two heifer calves. The first lot 80, Red Triple H Mill Coral 12G, weighing 775 pounds and a Millennium 75B daughter. Lot number 80, different pedigree on that heifer and EPDs up the wazoo. Lot number 81, sired by Red Six Mile Signature 295B, very notable bull in both Canada and the United States for the last few years, weighing 790 pounds. Both are February 13th born heifer calves. Lot 80 wings 775, lot 81 wings 790. Ward's Red Angus made the trip with lot number 82. This is a 780-pound heifer calf. Sired by Red SVR Hitch 23D. Lot number 82 from Ward's Red Angus, a former craps president, if memory serves. And a lot number 83, unfortunately not racing with us this weekend, to quote Haas Hammer. But that'll move us to Ken Ray Ranch's lot number 84. From Red vs. Saskatchewan. Lot number 84, Red Ken Ray Slushy 52G. Sired by Red DKF Titanium 116D. Sheldon Kyle and the Ken Ray crew. With lot number 84, weighing 640 pounds and born February 25th, one of our later born heifer calves of the heifer calf extravaganza. If I missed the weight on Clark's heifer, lot 82, she's a 780 pound heifer. I think I said it, but just in case I didn't. Lot 85 next in the ring from Circle G Angus. This is Red Circle G Blackbird 912G. 
Once again, that Outcross Red 9 Mile franchise, 6305, is the sire on this exciting lot from Circle G Angus, one of the longest serving seed stock producers in the barn. Little